So there was a fair bit of fabrication and things that we needed to make to sort of bring this project to life, namely the, the bonnet scoop, the, the gattle cam, which was a cool idea. And then there was also quite an aggressive aero kit that we made because we wanted it to look a certain way, this media warfare, sort of urban zombie apocalypse looking thing. And all of these add-ons aided in achieving that look. And eventually we ended up going for a Toyota Hilux um, bonnet scoop, because that was, you know, quite aggressive and high. And we had to cut that down and then make that fit, and fill it with expanding foam. And we messed that up, we had to do that twice because we blew it all out of shape. And, I think we got it, we got it just good. It looks exactly how we needed it to look. Um, we're playing quite heavily on the shooting pun. So we came up with this idea of using an old camera and extending the barrel to represent a, um, a, a gattle gun. So we made that, we had the rings, you know, the spacing rings, CNC cut, so they would, they, they actually look, look quite nice and intentional and we wanted it to look as realistic as possible so there's a lens in the front with the the flanking tubes and the length and it's got all these accessories and stuff on it and it looks quite cool in the end you know we painted that matte black twice <laughs> um, and in the end it's the most standout feature we hadn't seen anything sort of like it before And then the aero kit, yeah, that was quite simply made. Such a headache, but very effective. So worth it now in the end when you stand back and look at it assembled on the car and in place painted, fully color coded. Yeah, I'm glad we got through that okay, because it's one of the, the notable features of the car.